The guys can relax now. Mitchell, relax. You can now express yourselves. You guys don't have any time limit, so please feel free to yes. express your thoughts. Relax. Whatever that's happening inside of mind. I know. Yes. Breathe, okay? Because later on, at the end of this evening, five of you will be representing our country in the international arena. Okay. That's right, Erica. So, candidates, let us now begin. May we ask for the questions, please? Let's begin with our People's Choice Awardee, Misters of Filipinas, Cebu City. Pick your question, please. It's like a few uh, steps backward. Yep. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm totally re ready. Totally ready. Feeling nervous? Um, a little bit, but I have to convert my uh, feelings into a positive. Doing a great job, you know, bringing home the People's Choice Award is a really... Okay, pick your question. Daniel, please do the honor. Alright, that's a number. Question number 14. Question number 14. If there is one thing that you would want to be responsible with, what would it be? Protection of the one, environment, two, women, three, children's rights or four territorial protection please explain why would you like to read again okay he's uh, taking time to internalize the question just tell us when you're ready okay of course this uh, really isn't easy you know Given all the factors, cheer. All right, ready? Well, if I will be given a chance to be responsible with, I, I would rather choose um, environment because um, growing up in an island, I feel so rich in terms of culture and in terms of marine biodiversity. So, um, I would choose to be, uh, to protect uh, environment because we only have one world to share and uh, what we are doing in our environment, it is the exact reflection of what we are doing in ourselves. So, let us work as one, let us work together so that we could able to live in a better world and that would be all thank you. Thank you so much for answering Thank the question. You so much. Okay, next up. The next in our list. Next up, we have Filipino Community of USA. Hello, sir. Please Hi, make a question. Make a question. Daniel? Again, we'd like to repeat, there's no time limit. Yes, take your time. Take all the time you need. <laughs> you picked question number 19. Question number 19 is, if you will win as one of the misters of Filipinas King, what one thing would you like people to think about your brain? If I will win Misters of Philippines 2019, of course, the only thing that I want the people to know about me, about my name, about the one year reign that I have, is that I am responsible enough that I did my duty as Misters of Philippines winner 
and I did my very best, my 100% to give everything that I can do, not only to the pageant, to the male pageantry, not only to the environment, not only as a member of the of a member of this country, the Philippines, and of course, I want to be the symbol of this pageant. Thank you. Thank you so much. Filipino community of USA. Okay, my goodness. <laughs> now we we have a table right here. Okay. <laughs> you guys like that, huh? <laughs> All right. So, All right. Moving on to the next Misters of Filipinas, Tarlac City. Please take a number from our magic bow. You got question number 15. All right, the question is, the benefit of social media is currently being questioned especially in developing and maintaining relationships. Do you believe social media is making people be close together? Why or why not? Okay, well, in social media, there are two sides of the coin there, in terms of communicating with people. Uh, the first is, definitely social media has helped the world to become closer of, uh, ever since, since back then. People have been trying to communicate and tr trying to innovate ways to talk to one another and to be close to one another, but now social media has been the key in making the world uh, much closer to families and business and in all other aspects uh, but uh, however the other side of the coin there there is uh, some people become uh, depressed because of the, all the information that, are, that they are that they are gathering they, they get bullied and, and get depressed and get mental illnesses but uh, besides that uh, social media has been truly beneficial in making the world closer. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Very well. There you go. Yeah. Very simple, right? That's what I think. Why, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the advantage of having a no time limit Q&A portion, right? Yeah. They, they can relax and they can You really get to think, you get to express yourself. Yes. No more. All right. Next up, we have Mr. South Filipinas, Ginobata. Yeah, and I can hear some cheers. All right, please pick your number. Question you number pick number thirteen. Number thirteen. All right, your question is. The preparation for a pageant is never easy because you need to be prepared holistically. What was the greatest thing that you had to sacrifice to prepare for Misters of Filipinas? Biggest sacrifice. Of course, uh, the finalists are allowed to answer the question in the language that they are more, uh, most comfortable with. I'm preliminary pay ko po sa sarili ko ay yung paganda ng budget na to na hindi lang puro pagwapo, hindi lang puro hindi lang puro Habang naghahanda ka para sa Misters of Filipinas 2019, usually, meron tayong sinasakritisyo. Hindi, hindi lang uh, Para sa'yo, ano hindi yung sinakritisyo? Hindi lang puro, pagwapa hindi lang puro talino, kundi at ang sinakritisyo ko dun ay yung 
time ko sa pamilya ko na makasama ko sila para makasali dito sa pageant na ito at Alright, thank you so much. Thank you so Mr. much. Mr. Filipinas, Dinobata. You know what? It's very difficult when you're inside a pageant because of course you get to spend time with, um, not with your family of course, but with the candidates and it's very difficult. Na malayo sa yeah. Yeah. And again, to all our candidates, if you're fluent in Filipino or in English, you can really express yourself. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Next up, we have Mr. South Filipinas, Malisiki Pangasina. Okay. I love you, Dao. Ano mo sasabi mo doon? I love you too. You love them too. Alright, you pick question number four. Question number four is... Okay. People your age are considered to be digital savvy. Would you consider digitalization as beneficial to all? Why or why not? Good evening guys. Good evening people. Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Yung yun, totoo yun. Uh, para sa akin, social media, as sabi nga nila, maraming na luloko or na nagugul sa pagkagamit ng social media, especially mga bata na hindi pa alam gumamit ng internet. Siyempre, hindi nila alam kung paano gamitin. At isa pa, kung ka, hindi mo kailangan gawin beneficial or gawin tool sa sarili mo kasi lahat ng tao pantay-pantay. At isa pa, hindi to kailangan unahin. May sarili kang prinsipyo sa buhay na kailangan mo gawin. Kailangan po, maayang salamat. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you